In this video, I will show you how to replace the complete latch assembly in your Hearthstone wood stove. We'll start by opening up the kits and seeing what's included. First, the latch kit. Followed by the handle kit. The handle kit is easy enough to assemble. It's just three split washers and a bolt. Slide the washers onto the bolt and insert the bolt through the handle, starting on the larger end. The handle threads into the chrome crank included in the latch kit. You can install it beforehand or once the latch assembly has been installed. I'll install it now to demonstrate then remove it. The included instructions explain how easy this kit is to install. There's even a diagram illustrating the arrangement of each component. Speaking of components, let's take a look at what comes in the kit. Of course, a new latch to replace the old, worn one. You also get a new chrome crank, a new spring, a new flat washer, a set screw, and four latch spacers. More on the spacers later. For tools, only a few are needed for this job. You'll need grease for the latch shaft, pliers to hold the latch, a flathead screwdriver for the handle bolt, and a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. To replace the latch assembly, we'll start by opening up the front door. We need to separate the crank from the latch shaft. To do that, you first need to remove the set screw. At this point, the crank can be spun counterclockwise off the latch shaft. Remember to hold the latch with pliers. Keep spinning until the crank separates from the shaft. The spring and flat washer can now be removed and the latch can be pushed through the door. I'll start by adding three of the four included latch spacers onto the latch shaft. The more spacers you use, the further inward the latch foot will go. If the latch doesn't grab using three spacers, disassemble it and add the fourth. Next, a small dab of grease gets applied to the latch shaft. This will keep the shaft lubricated and operating smoothly. Notice, I'm just applying it to the smooth portion, not the threads. With the latch shaft prepped, we can now install it through the hole in the door from the inside out. Notice there is a groove milled into the latch shaft. We'll need to line up the hole and the crank with this groove later on. Next, we can install the flat washer onto the shaft, followed by the spring. The spring can go on in either direction. There's no wrong way to install this. Now, we can thread the new crank onto the latch shaft. Remember, we need to line up this hole with the groove in the shaft. Hold the latch shaft from the back side and thread the crank onto the shaft in a clockwise rotation. The spring will self-center within the crank with each rotation. I'll keep threading the crank onto the shaft until there is about an eighth inch gap between the crank and the door, and remembering to line up the hole with the groove. Lock everything in place by installing the included set screw. I place the set screw onto the Allen wrench and rotate it clockwise until tight. The final piece to install is the handle kit that we assembled earlier. This just threads into the crank. Tighten the bolt with a flathead screwdriver. As I tighten the bolt, I also rotate the handle. This ensures the handle is seated properly and tight.
Now, the payoff. Close and latch the door. How does it feel? Is it too loose or too tight? Or is it perfect? This is a little tight, but not tight enough to add the fourth latch spacer. To correct this, I'm just going to back the crank off by one complete rotation. This should make it perfect. After the adjustment, this latch is perfect. The Hearthstone stove is once again safe to operate. For technical information on this or any of our products, please visit hearthstonetech.com.